We're now standing in part of the system we call the flushing chamber. Why we call it a flushing chamber is because the big story at the hindsight of building the sewer, a bit large for the amount of people that were in Brighton at that time, and the sewer just lay in the bottom of the pipe. There was no flow to push it through. But as the population's grown and grown and grown now, there's enough water just to push it through down at Port of Bella Treatment Works. Three foot in a mile from Hove, one foot in a mile from Rottingdean to Port of Bella. Chelsea. But what they've done is very clever. They put three slots in the wall where the eight foot stormwater barrel is. We're going to walk up a bit later on. And there's six gate bells coming in. Steve, at the end of the safety passage, 
look down on top of it, very fast flowing, this is what they look like. But the one, um, this is a very large egg shape sewer, normally around four foot six high. This round barrel here, this is what the main Brighton intersecting sewer is made of round barrels, three to four foot six, as you can see this one being four. You'll see the sister one of this, we will walk up. You saw it go into the wall, then you went to the flushing chamber, and then that's where that sewer came into. This is the same one, the Albion sewer. Now, that's the only piece of cast iron pipe we've got in the sewer system. Can you hear me, Ryan? Yes. The only bit of part cast iron pipe we've got. Now, they told us that used to be brick line. When we went in there to clean the system out, it's not brick line, it's just pure cast iron. Now that's been there for 150 years, okay? So when we do walk up there, you tall ones, make sure we don't bang your end on that. <laughs> so we don't know how thick it is. Alright? And we don't want you to damage it. Right. Here is a stepway, you'll see we go up the stepway going up to the flushing chamber. One of our we can get into the flushing chamber from there. Uh, also, there are underneath that metal, uh, the lid you were standing on up there, there's a couple of holes where it floats out and comes down here. When Stephen told you about the, the actuator, the three square slots in the wall, that's where they are. That's in the flushing chamber. Now, what happens is, as Steve said, the tide used to come in twice a day, they opened those valves, the tide went in those three square slots, went completely around the Brighton sewer system picked up all the debris, when the tide went out, it took it straight out and dropped it on the beach. And that stopped Brighton from smelling. Um, you got away yet? I haven't got one. Must be up top. A um, little bit further on, there's a three foot six egg shape barrel, the fast running two of you saw the uh, marine marine ray. When you go up there, those are talking to you to shine on there, you'll see it. Um, here, it's the same, same as the outlet sewer, we've got spring water coming out there. We don't bother to block it off, if it did, it would blow it out somewhere else. So we just let it come out in the wall. Why don't you want to put finger in that one there? Properly. 
you talk, you don't have to be scared. <laughs> Thank you. 